Hey, well, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is your girl, Saida, the domestic handmaiden of distinction, coming again as always to you live and direct. I hope all is well with everyone. Um, I am coming with a uh, video uh, regarding a uh, bone broth. Um, if you may have, or you may have uh, not, may not remember, I had purchased some chicken feet uh, of maybe a month or two ago. I showed it in a in a uh, grocery uh, purchase that I um, video, uh, uh, recorded, and uh, hadn't got around to making it yet because I was trying to gather everything that I would need for that broth. Uh, uh, bone broth and in, in in the interim I was also um, using other uh, supplements so let me show you first of all this is what I started using this is um, it's called MSM I'm not going to try to pronounce it but it's uh, maybe I should uh, methyl sulfonyl <laughs> Never mind, but anyway, so they call it MSM for short. So I purchased this maybe a couple of months ago, and I was taking this um, every day. Was I taking it once or twice? I think I was taking it once, one or two times per day. And I'm not sure how effective they were saying that, you know, you probably need to take it like three months in order to see the effectiveness of it. Um... I think it worked a little bit, but I did not like the process. So I said, you know, because I was using it with like Tang, because you have to take it with vitamin C, that's how it, you know, it's carried. Like some supplements, you know, you have to load, you like, like with turmeric, uh, turmeric for uh, instance, you would use it like with black pepper because it helps to uh, help you to absorb it. So I was using that. I also tried gelatin. Oh, let me tell you why. I'm sorry. <laughs> For years, I've done a desk job. So I've always done desk jobs. And although I don't sit at the desk the full 8, 10 hours, 6 hours, 4 hours, I do move around. That's kind of been what I've done for, you know, the majority of my um, career. So it has caused stiffness. I noticed maybe in like 11 or 12, 2011 or 2012, like some stiffness, uh, a little stiffness in my joints uh, when I would get up or, uh, or sitting down, I think. So I didn't pay any attention to it. You know, I just kept, you know, kept, ex kept my exercises, kept walking and things like that. Uh, but in this year, it's definitely, 2017, has really gotten worse. So that's why I started using these. I tried to examine myself, making sure that I was, you know, uh, what you know, whatever I was doing wrong. I know my mother does have arthritis. My father, not so much. But my mother definitely does have arthritis, so I believe that it definitely could be genetic. But you also have to make sure it's not spiritual. The Bible talks about rottenness of the bones and unforgiveness, bitterness, and things like that. So I was, you know, making sure that that was not it also. So, so this morning, so I prayed about it because I'm like, this is too much. The pain is too much. I don't know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So I prayed about it. And this morning, I was like, uh, I guess the spirit was like, you know, try you know you use your bone broth so I went back to my research on it again and I said you know what today is the day I think I should have enough to at least get started so another thing I was using is another MSM but this has the v, the uh, uh, glucosamine and and uh, C in it it has everything you need um, so I use this I did not like it it's, it makes you very very gassy and uh, I'm not even going to everything but um so so i've tried these but it's best for me to do the natural thing because i'm a you know i'm a very natural girl i love to do natural things so i have almost two pounds almost two pounds of chicken foot it's everything is frozen so it's not going to look the most appealing so i have about two pounds of chicken foot uh chicken feet here i have uh, a breast a chicken breast bone uh, and meat here that I was something I was saving because sometimes you know you save them for your broth and stuff so I 
you know, these are some things I was putting together for that. Now, I don't know what's in here, but I do know that it's something, either chicken or turkey. <laughs> I won't know until it's defrosted, but I can tell that it's chicken or turkey, so I'm going to use that. I know this is a leg quarter that I uh, had to, um, marinating, and uh, it's all nice and seasoned, really good. I don't know if I'll use this because I was really saving this for... Uh, to eat one day so I'm not sure if I'm going to use it um, so those are the meat so I have uh, chicken foot two chicken breast this leg quarter and I'm not sure exactly what these are but I can tell that there's some good pieces of meat so for my veggies the things that I've been keeping or trying to collect I have some carrots here these are frozen these are some carrots that were in the freezer that I was trying to keep for that purpose I have uh, some celery that was in the freezer these are some pieces of meat because you can just use any types of scraps that you have scrap bones and chick you know meat and scrap uh, vegetables and things like that. So in here I have like a uh, grapefruit, I have an onion, I have uh, pieces of uh, lemon. Um, what's this? This is another grapefruit. This is another grapefruit. Let me see if I can open the bag. Hold on. So these are just things that I was keeping, like just scraps of food. Uh, scrap grapefruit. Uh, mini, sweet mini peppers, uh, limes, um, the uh, romaine lettuce uh, stalk, uh, pieces of onion, uh, green onion, and just just pieces of stuff because that's what they say use you know uh, and tops to you know onion and just scraps of things. You know, this is a, a frozen onion and things like that. So they would that's what they said use, you know, use for this. Uh, so this is what I was doing, just trying to collect everything I would need for it. Um, and then um, I have uh, some lemons because they say you can use lemons or you can use um, what do you call that? Uh, apple cider vinegar. So that because that would re that really leaches out the. Uh, the collagen and everything from the bone so I don't have apple cider vinegar I do have white vinegar uh, but I think I'm just going to use the lemons instead I have garlic cloves although I have my big big uh, thing of cloves so I'm probably going to use more than these three I have garlic cloves I have a jalapeno I have an onion red onion I have a, a lemongrass and uh, is that all? Yeah, so that is what I'm going to put in there. And then I'm just probably going to add pink Himalayan salt, pepper. Now I have uh, thyme. I have thyme and I have rosemary here. And I have a no salt seasoning back here. No salt seasoning. I have bay leaves and I have herbs de Provence. But I haven't decided exactly what it is I'm going to put in it yet. Um, it, the rosemary sounds good with the herbs they prov uh, with the herbs they provide. The herbs and the thyme so sounds good with the no sauce seasoning. I saw some recipes with the bay leaf in it and whatnot. I'm thinking I might do herbs they provide uh, and the salt and pepper, and I'm not sure if I would add the bay leaf. But I might do that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use yet. I also have some red wine here. Now this is a non-alcoholic wine. Uh, not there's no wine, uh, no you know alcohol in it. So I was thinking about doing that, or I'll save it for a beef because I'm gonna just this is my first time. I'm gonna try this, and then um, I might try of course a beef one next. But I gotta try this first. I also picked this up at Audi's yesterday, which is like a barbecue. Um, what do you call it? Uh, barbecue seasonings so this has like four different seasonings in it I'm gonna open it up and see if I want to use this because I think they have pink Himalayan salt in them or kosher salts or Celtic salt so I'm gonna look into that so I'm not sure which I'm going to which way I'm going to season it because I want it to be good because the whole family will be taking it and we don't you know you're taking something healthy for your 
uh, for your health, but you also want it to be tasty also. Plus, you have to be mindful. Like me, sometimes I can, I'll can i drink and eat anything, but I can't say that for my family. People are picky, and you got to flavor it up for them. So I'm not sure which uh, how I'm going to flavor it yet, but I do want it to be also very, very good because we're going to be um, using this, uh, you know, for a month. I'm going to do a three, probably do a three day fast, starting out myself with a three day fast. And I'm going to, now people can use a pressure cooker, but I'm going to use my slow cooker. And it's not too big. Uh, I'm not sure how many quarts this is, but this is not one of the really, really big, big, big ones. But uh, this is big enough for us to do because what I, what I cook down, and this one, I'm going to do mine for either 24 to 48 24 to 48 hours and what is going to happen even when I'm done I pour the broth off I can use this one more one or two more times or add more meat and just keep that going a lot of people they just keep that going uh, per, almost perpetually keep adding to it and keep using it and I think that's what I'm going to try to do because yeah, it's not been working, and I, I'm too young to have this kind of stiffness and problem. So anyway, I'll probably come back, show you what it looks like once it's done, and of course, give you updates on how it has blessed my life. So anyway, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section. And of course, mingle with one another while you're down there. So yeah, this is your girl Saida, the Domestic Handmaiden of Distinction, signing out for now. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.